What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here, and welcome to Marsman Gaming. In this video, I want to give my quick reaction to Bonnie Ross, quote unquote, leaving 3 for 3 Industries and what that might mean for Halo Infinite and the company going forward. Without further ado, let's jump into it. First things first, I mean, I want to give my respects to bonnie ross and say i really hope the best for your future endeavors and obviously the fact that you are walking away from three for three due to family matters i think it's the most important thing to be as respectful as possible and honestly anyone that kind of rips or says anything negative towards bonnie ross just for that reason i think it's pretty messed up but that being said i do think that this is the best thing going forward due to the fact that one, this current state of Halo Infinite, as well as the 15 years that we've seen Halo franchise kind of start to kind of spiral into one direction and go across into another direction. So I honestly think this is the best route going forward for Halo in the future. It also shows to me that if you really look at Bonnie Ross's statements, it seems that she was planning on walking away from 3 for 3 Industries after the November update. So it seems as that I believe that she was either going to be fired or asked to resign at that point in time. Now, I think that this is the smart move just because there's been a lot of issues going on recently. And obviously the fact that 3 for 3 has had a very rough launch. I think this is the kind of the smart move oh, just for everybody. I think it's best for everyone to have this mutual separation and for Halo Infinite to kind of have a new set of eyes going forward. But that being the case, I don't necessarily think that Bonnie Ross is the only reason why Halo Infinite is at where it is. I think this is a culmination of a bunch of different things that added up to what we have currently. Obviously, the fact that, as we see earlier in the production of Halo Infinite, where Chris Lee, reports have stated recently, has basically lied to a lot of people on how well Halo Infinite was doing in its early production years and that even to bonnie ross that she didn't even know how well the game was going at the very beginning then obviously after chris lee was quote unquote let go bonnie ross tried to hire people to fill the role that chris lee had and i think she did the right move by hiring joseph staden to be the head of creative at halo infinite but at that point it was already pretty late into the stages as you can see we are pretty much far behind where we should be with Halo Infinite currently. The other issues that I think Bonnie Ross doesn't really have complete control over are the fact that Microsoft are still having issues of giving Halo the resources to be as successful as they should be. Bonnie Ross can only do so much, and that's why I will give her a good chunk of the blame, but there's a lot more blame to go around here. I think that at this point, a lot of the people that were looking for change or looking for someone to blame were asking for 3 for 3 to be fired. And I think this was almost the consolation prize for a lot of those people that Bonnie Ross would step away or fired and replaced by somebody else. I think the issue is, is if we try to use Bonnie Ross as the scapegoat to essentially blame all the issues on her, rather than looking at the issues as a whole, is going to be where we suffer. We have to understand that Bonnie Ross played a part in what we see currently in Halo Infinite, but she wasn't the entire story. I think this game has a lot left in the tank, but unfortunately, it just takes time for us to see the fullness of what this game could possibly be. Now, with that being said, we need to now look at the future of Halo Infinite and what happens next. In the same day that Bonnie Ross has announced that she would leave 3 for 3 Industries, we also have her replacements. 3 for 3 has announced that we will see three new people stepping in as the roles that would lead 3 for 3 Industries as well as Halo going forward. We'll first see Pierre Hintz as becoming the new studio head of 3 for 3 Industries who previously worked on Master Chief Collection back in 2018, being hired to basically fix the franchise and bring the game back in its current state as it is today. We will also see Brian Kosky as being the GM of the Halo franchise, who previously worked as the head of marketing. And lastly, we'll see Elizabeth Van Wyck as becoming the head of business and operations. Now, when I'm looking at these new hires or these new people stepping in their roles, the first one I'll say is Pierre Hens as being the new studio head of 3 for 3 Industries as being, I think, a positive, in my opinion. His previous work on Master Chief Collection was definitely seen as a positive by most Halo fans because currently the Master Chief Collection is doing very well and with a live service method, they actually have a lot of content and they are continually growing. When it comes to Brian Kosky, I don't really know too much about him, 
but him being as the head of marketing for Halo for a long time, I really don't know whether this is a positive or a negative, in my opinion. And lastly, Elizabeth Van Wick, I think being the head of business operations is just a standard job. Now, granted, I don't think this has dramatic impacts on Halo Infinite in the next month or so, but I do think by November, by December, you will start to see some changes occur, whether in the exact content on being rightfully added when it's supposed to be, or at least giving us a outlook to the future, what will happen next. I don't see this being a, all right, Bonnie Ross is gone, Halo Infinite's fixed. I think this is a new face of the studio, and we'll at least see some new options going forward on what we will see next for Halo Infinite. Overall, I think this is more of a positive for Halo fans, but at the end of the day, you really won't know until you see some major changes happen. I think this is one step in the right direction and i think you'll see a lot more things happen and that will be really how we can justify whether this was the positive or a negative in the long run i think at the end of the day this was a long time coming and that microsoft understood that there was someone who had to pay the price for how bad halo infinite started out with now granted that doesn't mean that we should put all the blame on bonnie ross but it does say at least people can understand that what halo infinite is currently is not great it should be better with what we have in my opinion halo infinite has a lot of good base functional mechanics but the issue is the lack of content causes this game to be dry and we definitely need more dubs in the horizon i think we'll see the changes or the impact of this be more later on down the line but i think this is something to definitely take a look at all right guys thank you for watching please make sure if you haven't done so yet hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Please join us on social media, on Twitter, and on Discord, and that is located in the description below. If you want to support the channel, you can also join us on our Patreon, and that is also located in the description below. Until next time, this is Marsman from Marsman Gaming, signing off. Peace.